from Thunder Valley Resort in Lincoln, California. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I am Chris Hansen. He's the pride of Southern Georgia. He is Joe Stapleton. And for the first time ever, we're at Thunder Valley Resort just outside really of Sacramento. Like also, for the first time ever, Phil Helmuth mentions he lives in the Bay Area. Yeah. I love the Bay Area. Sorry, did I say first? I meant for thousandth. <laughs> also, Maria Ho gets fake poker tips from her mom. I think I felt my mom's presence and she said you should just call. Either way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Day one here at Thunder Valley and buy-ins from five to 10,000. Look at Mark Kroon buying right in the middle. If you've never watched Mark Kroon play poker on TV, seat one's gonna get real entertaining, I guarantee you. The game of poker has moved on a lot since 2003. Mark Kroon has not. And I wasn't sure what was mine. I'm really good at I didn't know what I was doing there. Anyway, thanks very much. I appreciate it. So you guys got action on this, red? Yeah, All I right. forget what I am already, I'm black. He hasn't lost a bet yet. I know, it's I ridiculous. I paid you the first bet, what are you talking about? Oh, that's right, you lose to me, I should it's actually get out of the only bet I made at the table. I'm like your kryptonite, you can't beat me. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Well, we'll be in another, like we'll like be in a hand together soon. I don't like the way you said that. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I scoop them. That's you've got to pay me like oh, that's ten double. times the amount or something. That's a painful one. Maybe I'll win the pot now and get my money back. <laughs> Six hundred from Maria Ho. How much do I owe you? I think you owe me a lot of money. I've got to win it back now. You don't say. I'm gonna raise two thousand. I might make a profit now. I think I'll you 400. Is that right? What's that? I'll you 400. Well, I gave you 200. Right. And then you, well, what do I win for that? 200. Yeah, so 400. Oh, fantastic. And you got a problem going on right here, so. Checks to the last aggressor. I'm all in. Alan playing this hand very fast. Doesn't want any draws to get there on him. And I think Maria's gonna have to fold this considering the price she's getting and the fact that she probably only has one way to win this hand, if that. Oh, well, you gotta show. Yeah, both you gotta hands, show. Both hands. We agreed both hands. Oh, I, I had 10 high flush draw. 10 high flush draw. Flop the straight. Anyway, what you guys were talking about, Alan? We were talking about Art Deco jewelry and period pieces and what have you. So Tiffany you must, lamps. Tiffany you must lamps. be amazing to, to be able to play in like a punk rock band and now you're here playing poker too. And talking about Tiffany lamps. Okay. And talking Ready. about Tiffany lamps, very cool. <laughs> Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> So, so what's your deal? Where are you from? San Francisco. Oh, you're San Fran. Nice. Mark so Cruden calls that a position with King I Four suited. Like Hundred bucks says like Phil mentions he lives in the Bay Area. Yeah. I'm a Bay Area guy too. I know that. Yeah. You live in Palo Alto, yeah. I think. Yeah. I love the Bay Area. I love it too. I love it too. Yeah, Every day, so I'm just happy to yeah. like to live yeah. in San Francisco. It's beautiful. We don't see you at Lucky Chances very often, though. No. What song should I like? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you like the spring tone? <laughs> Hotline bling town. Yo. Ace on the turn. Would you like a mento? I love how Phil's pretending to be on the phone right now. I'm just waiting for the dial tone to come through on his microphone. Maria taking another stab at this. Oh, and lo and behold, trip fours doesn't fold. Instead, he moves all in. 
Do you think Maria's going to take a moment or two to make this look good? But I don't see her ever calling this. You don't have to call. You get to see anyone if there's nothing to call. Both hands, right, Phil? Yeah, you got to see both hands. I King High. King, King Queen? Yeah. I have King High, too. King Four? Yeah. It's a lot of very advanced stuff going on. What the heck just happened here? Yeah, flop a pair of fours so I can really play good. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. I don't care. That's worth it. Sometimes you just got to click the button. Maria, good game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Does the fun ever start? Poker Night in America back at Thunder Valley Resort. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. Crewing with ace deuce of clubs this time. Calls the raise from Alan Richardson. Maria's in with pocket nines. Pick me, dealer. Interesting spread, dealer. First you show the ace deuce to you pair, then the ace eight. I like it. I'm about to find out if you picked one of you two. Richardson bets 750. Croon okay, makes it 2K. <laughs> wow, here comes <laughs> Poker Ho. I don't think I can get away from this. Oh, this is fantastic. Here comes Poker Ho. <laughs> don't forget Poker Ho, one of the biggest stars of Ultimate Bet. I call. Here we go. Big pot. That was pot. a very confident Big call. Big pot. I think the hoe oh, has a hand. They want the cards up. Yeah, they want them up. I got the best hand. All right, well, then Set? I'm drawing down. Set of deuces? No, I got ace two. Two pair. I don't oh, have the best wow. hand. Oh, wow. Time out. I need a little Felmuth commentating on poker odds on this hand. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know I'm behind if I get sucked out on what were the odds. Basically, it's this. He has two outs right Twice. now, and you have, well, going into the river, you would have 42 outs. Unless he hits a deuce, give us a card. Who's the favorite here? Who wants a king? <laughs> by, by, by the way, by the way. Inquiring minds want to know. I would, love, I would love a king. Hold it. Of course. Up now. Here's the situation. You have 42 <laughs> wins. Oh, you have two wins. But You're at 21. I'm very lucky. To one underdog. By the way, 47% of the time, the two of spades gets rivered. <laughs> How often? 47% of the time. So almost half the, half the time, I'm going to river you here. All right, I want to buy insurance. And then the other 53%, it's like a blank card, so the deck is By the way, if, if that is not the two of spades, <laughs> I'm going to be very sure. <laughs> Chaos is going to ensue oh, right here. Just go ahead and flip the two of spades. It's, you know it's there. So the actual math versus Ho's math. He says he's 47% for the deuce of spades. Why would I make that up? Why would I make that up? That's not in your math book, is it? <laughs> well, the actual math is a little different. 21 to 1, favorite right. you are. So that makes him, what, about 5%, a little Three less five. than 5%. Pretty close, Phil. I'll allow it. Okay. We'll see Here the we river go. now yeah. after all that. <laughs> you, yeah. you made a flush. You made a flush. Oh, you don't even you need, need aces and aces. You don't even need aces and aces. You made a flush. Oh, that app yum, is so yum. Oh. That app is so rich. I just paid somebody $40,000, so. All right, well, then maybe it's not. Mm. Which really sucked. That hurt. <laughs> it did hurt. Didn't feel good? No. Okay. You're I believe still ahead for the year, though, Phil. I'm always ahead for the year. All right, no crying. It's hard to, I mean, the, the game's so swingy, though. You know, it's like unbelievable. You can play perfect. Well, not, not me, but like. Has perfect been figured out in that game yet? Not, not even being oh. sarcastic. I don't know. Closer. Closer, but it's not perfect. Closer. Right, Phil. There are some computer programs that are, you know, that are out there. I don't know. I, th I think I'm pretty good at, at it, but then when I play all the best players, I lose, but I beat everybody else. Pair of eights for Ross, open ended for Phil Helmuth, and Corbin with Nada. Is Jason any good? I was playing him for a little bit, Phil, but then I stopped, so if he's not. Who, Jason? Jason Calacanis. Mercier murdered me. Calcanis is, uh, <laughs> is okay. I, I think you're probably better than he is. Another 10 on the turn. <laughs> 15 hundy from Helmut. Over to Mike Ross. I just want it to end. Like, I just want you to fold next 10. 
But I don't mind if you call. Call's okay, too. How about a raise? <laughs> I would not be in love with the raise, but. All right. Talk you into it, huh? Wow. Just a call to the river. Helmuth whiffs. A pair of eights is good. Does Helmuth give it up? All in. No. How much is it? 5,150. Miserable, 25. miserable, miserable. 46. No, no, more. Oh. 5150. I don't want to fold here, obviously. Well, I'm just doing cartwheels. You didn't snap call. Snap call is very bad for me. I'll take this one. You take the next one. That's my line. That's my line. <laughs> maybe maybe I got it from you a long time ago. I definitely ago. heard Phil say that to you. <laughs> definitely said that. I made a great bet here. Fantastic bet. Yeah, I think it's a great bet. And I gave you 4,000 before, which is miserable, so I'd hate to give you more, but you might be thinking that. Should we do the old flip a coin trick? You know, we've seen that many a times. What do you think? As TJ Cloutier would say, do as you please. You want me to flip a coin and make the, the decide on that? You make the decision. You want me to flip a coin and decide on the call based on heads or tails? I say this, do as you please. All right, you win, Phil. Turn you it over, I, I fold, I fold, I fold. Oh! Yeah. You had me. Yeah, I oh, had you it. had me. I knew I you had an had eight, and I was like, oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh, that was scary. Nice bet, Phil. Win or lose, I think we're all very lucky to be able to sit here and play this game for this kind of money, so it doesn't really matter in the end. Welcome back to Thunder Valley, just outside of Sacramento, California, on Poker Night in America. The Thunder Dome at Thunder Valley. I like it. <laughs> All right, well, let's play with Alan and Phil, two guys I can't beat. The Ross boss is in, croon out. I had the sevens, Alan. I really thought. Really thought. Were you going to do something coming. crazy? You were uh, never doing anything no, crazy. You no, were looking no, for I a can't. sad. You yeah, I had three that. players <laughs> Talmuth, Richardson, and Ross. Who knows what the turn card might Sounds be. like a bad, real bad law man. firm. <laughs> 600. Ross is going to raise his top pair. Alan Richardson bet 600, and then immediately was brought up to 1,500 from Ross. A call from Helmuth. This isn't the way I thought this hand was going to play out, though. I checked for a very specific reason. <laughs> to get me to throw 1,500 in there. Don't think you can fold spades. You could maybe re-raise, though, if you're bored of just calling. You're both way behind anyway. But... Richardson elects to just call. This pot is over 5K. Could be the biggest pot of the night. And Phil gets there on the turn, but will Spades re-get there? Ross drawing dead. Check. Everybody's checking. Spades got a chance on the river. It doesn't happen for Richardson. Helmy checks, desperately hoping for a bet. Check. Ross is going to attempt to bring it on down to Valueville. How much? Phil, of course, doesn't have the nuts, but he's going to be pretty confident he's got the best hand. We are very likely to see a raise. I'm all in. Easy fold for Richardson, assuming he hasn't misread his hand. Hi, right, Cole. Just a straight. 10 
You own me, Phil. You own me. Well, Thank you, now, Phil Hellmuth was just lying. He had said, I'll take the first one, you take the next one. He didn't give him right, the next 24. one. He got them both. Are Woo! we about to see Phil Hellmuth have a televised poker win? You own me, Phil. You own me. You uh, own me. That was I lucky. The fly. What? Lucky. Phil, when's your I... next charity event you're going to host? Probably I'll host to... Probably I'll host Tiger Woods event. Okay. You were at that, right? Yeah, I was at that. And we, you went out late with Mark Cuban. I know that. I showed up the club as you guys were leaving, though. I know. So, to be fair, I showed up pretty late. You did. We were I, we were texting you to come, and then you showed up with, like a few hours later, and then we were done. It was like four. I showed up at like. I think you showed up right before the club. Closed. I showed up at twelve forty-five, uh, and you guys were with Mark Cuban and his. He had a booth, and Mark's like, "Phil, just take my booth. Whatever you did need. You stay whatever you like." While? We stayed for like an hour, maybe. But, I, but I'd rather play blackjack with. Uh, <laughs> Tiger. I'd rather play blackjack with Tiger Woods. No, then, yeah, then be at a club. I have family in Downers Grove. Oh, yeah? We just, uh, we yeah. just have fun. I, I, I live downtown. Yeah. Nice. Right. I call. I haven't been well, there in I'm glad you took it that long to call. I still would have parked down there. Hey, man, I get it completely. Yeah. Oh. Wow, flippy dippy. Oh, you That's haven't great. exactly good been running good, though. I'm running good here now. Okay. You had an ace. Wow, look at wow. this. Look at this flop. That's Hold a good a TV second. flop. Wow, that is amazing. amazing. Now, Dylan, normally if the fourth queen came, it would be over, but but if the jack of clubs comes, it is right. over. So I don't know. Give us That's a, a real flop. Yeah. It's a real flop. Not flush look against at this top flop. Set. Either way, it goes all in. And here we go. Yeah. Nice hand. Nice hand. Yay. Hold sure. up. Yeah, I'll do 5,000 more. Wish I could say I had chips for you, but <laughs> <laughs> And look at this, Lori is straddling after That's doubling up. Oh yeah. Hey, why not? It's Mark Croon's money. Let's get after it. Ah, uh, burn. <laughs> I play weird. What can I tell you? I trap you, but against her, I just play straight up. Last time you had aces versus me, you didn't play it like that, Phil. Don't trap me. You beat him. That's not nice. I did. I had a hand that could have been that time. You beat my it? pocket aces. I got lucky. Sometimes I All right, I win this one, you'll win the next one. I'll win whichever is the bigger pot. Of All right, I'll give you the next one. <laughs> I'm going to check. Maria flops a pair, but it's not the best one. <laughs> don't bet, don't bet, don't bet. Well, I maybe could have made it. <laughs> really bad in following directions. <laughs> All right. How much is oh, it? Yeah. Now it's 1400 And this is a fairly dry board. I think this is an insta muck for Maria Howe. Allen's proven yeah, himself some, to be a bit less there, experienced right? than some of the other players at the table. Yeah. Actually, say, say you have 10-9 suited and it just comes 10-8 deuce. Not sure what bluffs he'd really be raising with there, but I guess Maria just wants to see a turn. <laughs> You're from Bart. <laughs> OK, <Right>? whatever. <laughs> Not very likely. What's more likely is you what flop a 10 and What if it comes 8-10 deuce and have a flush draw, too? In Blamo, we have a big pot. Yes. Yeah. Richardson is undeterred. By Maria's flop call. I don't have that skill today. 2,000 is the bet from Richardson. Around two thirds pot. You'd be pretty surprised to see Maria call again. I'd be less surprised to see a raise than I would to see a call. She's even losing to some other jacks. Well, she did call. What do you have left? They see the stop sign, but they can't help it. 4,500. <laughs> so it makes poker, blind poker profitable. <laughs> wow, what was that? Another ace. Can't bluff me now. And as Phil says, no instant snap call. That's always a good thing. I hate being, hate being wrong, but I want to sleep good at night. You know what I mean? It's like, what's worse? Sleeping good at night or <laughs> but not I guess sleeping I'm gonna see at night? It, but I guess I'm going to see it either way because of what's in the pot. So For I guess sure. I will. For sure. You know. Yeah. It's so. not like I'll never see it. So you're only going to be sick if it's a bluff if you fold, and you're going to be a hero if you're calling and it's a miss. Every time I get something. knocked on the refrigerator and look at your face, I'm going to be Phil, like, I'll read you the text that I just got. Right. Like, oh. From my father. God, that's why you're an like, idiot. Oh. He had 8-9 or 7-9 or something. That's exactly what he wrote. See, I don't want that text from my mom. <laughs> I just got it. I, got I don't it. want that text from my mom. By, you know, by by my way, mom is my like, absolute hero. I need to look 
go to the way, my mother. You've got to make a decision before your mom texts you my hand. So, <laughs> you got about, you got about <laughs> one more minute of your strategy <laughs> till I call the clock. Okay. Because I know what you're up to now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely don't have my phone with on the table, so you don't worry about that one. But that's funny. But I do want to look good for my mom because <laughs> I don't want her to send me that text. Yeah, she hasn't you. been proud of many things. <laughs> so I need her to be proud of something, you know? That's so sick. You got to give her something to be so proud of. So make a hero call or a hero fold. It's a really good point. I guess I call then. No, they said I that call. The... Wow, she the calls. Ball. I saw an ace. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> no, actually, I think I felt my mom's presence, and she said you should just call either way. You know what I mean? So I think she's proud of me either way. Yeah, you're the it's best true. photos I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it's I may give you like my whole portfolio for free. I'm, I'm gonna read all your books. It's a tough fold. You did say I was probably head on the flop, to be fair. I feel like you have some nonsense like Jack Eight of Diamonds or something like that. Do I play that kind of crap? I feel like there's a Jack and an Eight in your hand. I'm just, just letting you know. Win or lose, I think we're all very lucky to be able to sit here and play this game for this kind of money. So it well doesn't said, really well matter said, in the end. Cheers. 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 Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. The last hand that we saw with Ellen Richardson and Maria Ho put him up big and put Maria Ho down big. And check it out, Phil Hamuth up over $17,000. Oh, what a time to be alive. Well, never in all my 11 months as a Poker Night in America commentator have I seen Phil Hamuth end a day in the plus column. Come back next time to see if that can't possibly hold. Yeah, you said can't possibly. I, want to redo that? I know what I said. Okay, well, Poker Night in America. Visit us at PokerNight.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for updated information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time on Poker Night in America. Should I preemptively text my mom and say, sorry, mom? <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's coming. The so preemptive I mean, text. I, I might as well. for both of us. That's the best. I might as well.